Uh, I welcome you all to this another in interesting uh, screencast. Uh, the problem reads the jet plane is traveling with a speed of 120 meters per second which is uh, decreasing at 40 meters per second squared when it reaches point A. Determine the magnitude of this acceleration when it is at this point. Also specify the direction of flight measured from uh, the axis. Right, and uh, uh, in the second problem, the jet plane is traveling with a constant uh, speed of 110 meters per second along the curved path. Determine the magnitude of the acceleration of the plane at this instant. It reaches point A when Y is equal to zero. All right, both these problems are coming from uh, the engineering mechanics area. Uh, dynamics are 14th edition by R.C. Hibela. Just a quick reminder of uh, the equations, kinematic equations. Uh, we have velocity, which is the time derivative of position. We have acceleration, which is the time derivative of velocity. From the two equations, we have uh, this derived equation. From these three kinematic equations, we are able to derive <coughs> a couple of equations depending on the boundary condition. We do have one common equation and acceleration is a constant, t equal to zero, and uh, we have additional boundary condition s naught at v naught. And uh, from this boundary condition, uh, let me just move this, we are able to derive the following equations, s is equal to s naught plus v naught t, plus half a c t squared and then v is equal to v naught plus a c t and v squared is equal to v naught squared plus a c plus 2 a c plus 2 a c s minus s naught okay right okay so let's go to the first case which is case one and this is 12-147 okay let's look at this particular case what do we have here we we have the speed here uh jet is traveling at this speed which is decreasing at, um, so we do have our v which is equal to vt and is 120 meters per second and we do have the acceleration uh, which is equal to minus 40 meters per second squared and we are being asked to determine uh, the magnitude of uh, the acceleration, okay? So this one is in fact a t, okay? So we need magnitude itself for us to find magnitude uh, We need to use this Pythagoras rule, okay? By taking the square of uh, both the tan tangential and the normal acceleration where the normal itself is equal to vt squared divided by rho. <coughs> All right, that rho has not been given, but we are able to derive it. So let me just show a few other things of what is happening here in the first case. So uh, tangential to the k over that point, let's say this is a direction of our velocity, okay? And uh, uh, we have the acceleration, but it's in the opposite direction, like so. And we do have uh, the um, normal acceleration, like so. So let's call this as our a t. This one as our a n, and then this one we call it uh, as our v t. Let's say we do have 
the uh, the acceleration uh, the uh, the total acceleration itself which will be probably in that direction okay somewhere there all right so I'll just leave it like this for now so for us to find rho um, so let's find rho so we know that rho is just equal to 1 plus y prime squared and everything to the power 1.5 divided by y double prime okay and then y prime you know that our y our y itself <coughs> is equal to our 15 lean x over 80 and this can also be written as our 15 uh, 15 uh, lean x minus lean 80 right you know that mm -hmm. I know that you know that therefore y y prime which is just y dx will just be equal to uh, 15 and then uh, lean x that just becomes a 1 over x okay the other part is uh, a zero right that's all that part becomes as linear it is a constant right so it becomes a zero okay and then y double prime of this which is just e, y like so okay this just becomes um so this becomes because this is also equal to uh 15 x to the power one right so this one just becomes um minus 15 um x to the power uh, minus uh, minus 2 right which is just equal to minus 15 and divided by x square right so with this information we can plug it in and you've been told uh, to find the, mag the magnitude of the acceleration when it is at this point and at this point x is equal to 80 therefore y y prime at 80 just gives us cause this one here at 80 just gives us a 15 over 80 and the y double prime at 80 just gives us a minus 15 divided by 80 squared right so let's uh, feed it in our equation for rho so that we find this value let me just create a boundary here like this right so what we need to do now is our rho therefore will just be equal to what is our rho equal to uh, it's 1 plus uh, y prime y prime is a uh, 15 divided by 80 squared okay uh, and everything to the power 1.5 and then divided by minus 15 divided by 80 squared right and this one is always taken as if it comes out like this negative we always take a modulus value okay i mean so when you work out this uh, let's work out this one so we have 15 divided by 80 uh, squared plus 1 to the power 1.5 
divided by uh, 15 divided by 80 squared. So this gives us a 449.3 six meters so this is the value of our row which is the radius of curvature we just check it again 15 divided by 80 squared plus 1 to the power 1.1 1.5 divided by 15 divided by 80 squared 449.36 so with this, we are now able to find AN, and our AN is just equal to uh, 120 squared divided by 449.36. And this gives us, so 120 squared divided by 449.36, this is just equal to uh, 32.05. Meters per second square. So we have a n. Uh, what else? Of course, we need to just find the acceleration magnitude of the acceleration. So a itself is equal to a t squared plus a n squared, and therefore our a is just going to be equal to. Uh, what if, what is our a? Our a is this one here. Let me just write down. We know that our a, our a t is equal to a uh, minus 40 meters per second squared. So our a is just going to be equal to plus 40 squared plus 32.05 squared. In square root of that, we have the magnitude is 51 point. 51 point 51 point what 51 point 26 meters per second squared okay so let's now let's now let's now uh, find the direction direction of light okay using y prime okay so we know that y prime which is equal to dy dx okay is equal to found this to be equal to a 15 divided by x okay and y prime at x equal to 80 this gives us a uh, 15 divided by 80 therefore tan theta itself is equal to uh, y prime at 80 which is equal to 15 divided by 80 and therefore our theta is just going to be equal to uh, 15 divided by 80 turn inverse of that we get a 10 point 62 degrees therefore this angle here uh, this angle here uh, is our theta and is equal to uh, a 10.62 okay this is for uh, case 1 right this is for case 1 okay This is also uh, this is also for case one. Okay. Right. Uh, so we found the angle. 
So let's move to case two. Case two. This is a probe dash one forty eight. Okay. So what do we have here? Uh, our velocity is equal to vt, which is equal to a one ten meters per second. Okay. And uh, since this is constant, since this is constant, uh, our a a t is equal to zero. Right. So it says since uh, v t is constant. Um, a t is going to be equal to zero meters per second square. Okay, our row we already calculated is the same. Is equal to a four four nine point three six meters, and therefore our a n is just going to be equal to v t squared divided by rho, which is equal to our uh, one ten squared divided by uh, 449.36 and because because 80 because 80 because 80 is equal to 0 our acceleration is just going to be equal to a n which is equal to 110 squared divided by 449.36 this gives us a 26 a 26.93 uh, meters per second square okay 110 squared divided by 449.36 26.93 all right so let's outline the solutions so we have the magnitude in the first case there we go which is a 51.26 and we also have the direction of our flight okay right in fact this applies to both cases right so let me just move this okay And then in the second case, we do have the acceleration. Uh, the acceleration is just only due to the normal or central pito acceleration. So I think this is about it and I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and liking my channel. Bye-bye. And I'll see you in my next screencast.